Hello, Libra viewers. I'm going to see what the cards want to say, whatever story the cards want to tell here. So a couple weeks ago, I was getting that there's a secret admirer, someone that's watching you, and they want to rush in really quickly. There's one final block that you need to clear up so that their guides will allow them to come in. There's something, there's just one final thing that needs to be cleared up. And once you do, it's like this person's guides are stopping them from coming in. But once you clear this block up, they're going to allow them to come in. I'm trying to remember what the block was because I'm looking at the title of the video I did a couple weeks ago for you guys. But it's like you've been trying to manifest love and it's like you're you're wondering why it's not manifesting because you've done all the healing work you've done. You're in alignment with it. Like everything's good. It's just this one tiny thing that you've overlooked that you need to go back and look at and clear up to to bring love in. So if that's if that's resonating with you, then I would go check out that reading that I did a couple weeks ago. Um, I want to tell a new story here, so I don't want to get too in depth into that, but... Also, don't, I don't remember what the block is. I'm trying to remember for you guys, but I don't remember what it was. I'm sorry. But if it's resonating, um, go check that video out for sure. So, but let's see what the current story is. What's the current energy that we have going on here? We got vulnerability and receptivity. Pause, reflection, rest. Loyalty, stability, vows. Fast moving energy. So some of you that follow me have actually cleared this block up now. And so you might have love coming in soon or you're in the process of clearing this block up. For others, I feel like I feel like someone was feeling very emotional about you. They were feeling very vulnerable, very receptive to your energy, just seeing you as just beautiful, enchanting, just amazing, male or female, whatever that energy is. But someone was really just, um, you know, they just felt really very drawn to you. But they had to pause. I think this is a more logical person. So they had to pause and reflect and rest and make sure that what they were feeling was real. So this could be a secret admirer or it could be someone um, new or someone else coming in. As well, you might have more than one love option, especially if you've been trying to manifest love for a while. You might have multiple options coming in all at once. But I feel like I'm getting the sense here that they someone needed to pause and rest and make sure that this was the real deal. And now they're wanting to come in quickly with, you know, an offer of loyalty, stability, vows. Um, maybe they were in a strange pl place when you guys met and they just wanted to make sure that, you know, what they were feeling could be trusted and it wasn't just a spur of the moment thing. Maybe they had some things to figure out. Yeah, there could have been like a third party distraction or a karmic partner that was keeping you guys apart for some of you, either on your end or on theirs. Or just a third party energy, maybe just that had a lot going on in their life. And they needed to really deal with that and they needed to make sure that, you know, that this connection with you is, is stable and that it's something that they wanted to commit to. And I feel like they, they decided that it is something they want to commit to because they're wanting to come in quickly. Could be some chaos going on in their lives as well, though. But I feel like with third party distraction here, karmic partner, it's like that was what was there was some energy that was holding them up pretty much. They needed to take a, you know, pause and sort that out and figure out what they really wanted. There might have been some soul contracts that they had to um, wrap up and, and bring to an end so that they could have this new love with you. Yeah. And they might have needed to question their feelings, too, if they if they were in a karmic partnership, because maybe they. Maybe they felt like the karmic was the one for them, like they felt like that was their true love and maybe they they figured that was the person they were going to spend their life with and then you know when they met you they they felt so strongly about you so suddenly and they weren't really used to that so maybe they really needed to question that like is this real you know because it was like a soul level connection with you it was like a soulmate or a twin flame connection but it, it just their feelings came up so suddenly and they hadn't really experienced that kind of psychic connection with someone before 
So maybe they just needed to step back and really question it. Like, is this, can I trust this? Like, why do I feel this way so early on about someone? Why am I feeling so close to this person? Like, do I really want to give up on this karmic relationship for someone that I, that I don't know that well yet for someone I just met? Like, can I, can I trust what I'm feeling? Like they really um, did some digging to try to figure that out. And I think that they did come to the conclusion that they do want this new love, that they do want to wrap up this soul contract with the karmic. I feel like it just kind of threw them off because they weren't expecting you to come around. Like they weren't, I don't know if like the circumstances of your meeting were kind of unexpected or what it might have been, but there was just something about your connection that they weren't really expecting. Or maybe they had plans to do something else and they weren't... Um, you know what I mean? Like they, they had other they had other other life plans and, and you kind of threw them off a little bit. So they had to kind of stop and reevaluate their life and figure out if they have room for a relationship like this. But yeah, they're wanting to come in, I feel. I feel like they want to come in quickly, like but they want when they do come in, I feel like they want to move slowly. Um, and you are pulling them in. Like your love drawing intentions are pulling them towards you. But I think they're just wanting to like take it slow and get to know them because I feel like I feel like there's something about your connection that they're not used to, like the psychic energy or the way that you guys talk, or there's just something here that feels uh, unfamiliar to them. It's like they, they, they trust it, but they don't trust it at the same time. How do I explain? How do I explain that? Like it feels right to them, like intuitively talking to you, being around you. It feels comfortable. It feels natural. It feels right. But they're usually the more logical type and they usually move more slowly. So it does feel right to them, but they're like almost over, they overanalyze things and they're, they're almost overanalyzing why it feels so right to them. Like, why does this feel so natural? Like, is this trustworthy? Like they're asking the important questions. Like, do I want to change my life for this person? Do I want to make this commitment? You know, even if it means I have to go down a different life path than what I intended on going down. Um, so it's like, they are wanting to come in, but they're kind of wanting some clarity and answers regarding the connection because it's like maybe it's like a twin flame or soulmate connection so they they kind of just want to understand the nature of this connection they 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 need some they need some clarity basically so they're wanting to take it slow since they're not really used to this sort of connection uh, so you know you are pulling them in but they just they want to get to know you they want to they want balance. They don't want to move. I feel like they're kind of, they're not freaked out. I mean, it's like the spiritual energy of this connection, like the soulmate twin flame, whatever this is, it, I, w I wouldn't say that it freaks them out. Like it, it, it does a little bit though, but it, it like, it turns them on. It makes them, it, it makes them feel secure, but they're not used to it. Like I said, they haven't experienced this. So if you if you dive in too quickly, they they might get freaked out and run just because it's this isn't their usual thing. Usually, their relationships are more logical. Like they start out as friends. They um, they they really like to take take things slow. Generally, you know, they start out as friends. They get to know the person. They you know romantic feelings develop. You know, very comfortable, familiar, just healthy relation, like just average relationships is, is kind of what they're used to. So when they feel this kind of soul connection where they just feel like they want to pour their heart out to you when they barely know you, they, they want to, they're vulnerable with you. They want to open up to you. They're not used to feeling like that. So they're kind of questioning that. So, you know, they're part of them is like, is this just lust or is this just you know, a strong attraction. Like, why am I feeling so close to them? Why do I feel so intensely about them? Because logically they're thinking, well, we haven't had, you know, we haven't known each other long enough or we haven't developed a solid base, you know, to have this, you know, we need to develop that solid base first for this to be a healthy, solid relationship. So, so don't overdo it with the soul connection stuff. Just kind of match their energy and take it slow if, if and when they come back around. And don't, don't rush. Cause you want this person to trust this connection. You know what I mean? Like you feel good to them and this feels different to them than their other relationships. But it's like, so it's such a psychic connection that they're, they almost feel like, like they wonder if they're going crazy or they wonder if they, they don't know what's going on. They don't fully understand it. They don't understand these concepts of like soulmates and twin flames the way that you do. So, 
So it's really important to kind of be gentle and go easy on them. Don't overload them with any of the spiritual stuff or the psychic stuff. Just just kind of take it slowly. They want a solid base. Like I feel like they are deciding that they want you, but they don't feel like it's very solid yet. They're wanting it to be they're like they're making the decision that they want to pursue this but they want to pursue it slowly they want to have a friendship they want to go on dates get get to know you see what you're all about they they really want to know there's someone that likes to know everything about a person before they really fully commit like they want to know all the good all the bad your weaknesses your faults like they, they like to overanalyze things and be kind of logical about relationships in a way um, not that they're not romantic, but just that they like to know exactly what they're getting into. They like to, they're, they're more logical in the sense that, you know, they're, they're going to be mindful of your communication styles and, and how that fits in. And they're going to think about the long term and, 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 you know, try to comprehend if, if that's something that's going to, to work long term. You know, they're going to, they're not just going to go off what they feel in the present moment, even though what they feel in the present moment is really strong. They're, this person's still going to, to really look at the long term and make sure that this is something solid before they really commit to it. So they, they are wanting to come in quickly. They are making the decision that they want to get to know you, but they're wanting the, a, a friendship and they're wanting a solid base. They're wanting, to know your flaws and your weaknesses, your secrets, your strengths, you know, all the good and all the bad, your communication styles, um, you know, your compatibility in all areas of life. They just, they want to know all those things before they, they like to have all that information before they make a solid commitment and decision and a decision here, you know, but so yeah, just kind of take it a little bit slower, kind of matches, match his or her energy a little bit. And this could be this could be a new person. This could also be the secret admirer that I was picking up a couple weeks ago that wants to come rushing in once this block is removed. I wish I could remember what the block is because then I could see how this how it plays into this. But but once that block is removed, I feel like it's like they want to come in. Maybe the block was something about you doing the relationship right. That would make sense actually. I'm trying to remember. I'm sorry. I probably should have looked at the video before I started this one. The, it might have been something about you. I want to say it might have been something about you doing relationships right because they were worried that you would sabotage this accidentally if, if you didn't do it right, which makes sense because this secret admirer is more of the logical, analytical type and they want a healthy, solid relationship. Like, this person's not going to do drama. Like, they're not going to do, like drunk crying and chaos like that's not for them they're gonna get turned off by that not that you would do that but just that that's not the kind of like not saying you would do that at all but I'm just saying that that's the kind of relationship that they would avoid like they're not into that they want a very healthy relationship like open communication no secrets no lies uh no no drama no no chaos no like if there are arguments they need to be uh something that helps the relationship grow and they can't get too out of hand, you know, so they might, there might be something that you, that like, and you do in relationships that wouldn't work with this person, like maybe just testing them or, or questioning them or moving too quickly, um, that this person might see as a red flag because they're used to more like kind of just normal relationships and you're used to more passionate relationships. So there's going to be a, a balance, a give and take here. So that could be the final block that needs to be removed so that you guys can, um, I'm trying, I don't remember what the block was exactly, but, but, but if this is your story, then I would go back and look at that other video I did. Cause that will help for sure. But, but yeah, that's, that's, that would make sense though, is that they, maybe that was, maybe that was what it was. They, they want to make sure that's cleared before they bring this person in, because this is also going to be different for you. So it's going to be different for them in the sense that this is going to be more passionate and romantic than they are used to. And it's going to be spiritual and psychic more than they're used to. You might be their first soulmate. Like maybe they were had a pattern of karmic. So you might be like their first real deep soul connection. Uh, and for you, it's going to be the opposite where it's like, it's going to be different for you in the sense that this is going to be more healthy and stable and it's going to move more slowly than you might like it to. 
It's going to be more logical, more grounded. It's not going to be as passionate and romantic and, and fast as you might like. So it's, it's your, you know, two different worlds here meeting is basically what I'm getting. Which makes sense if your your guides are wanting to bring this secret admirer in. It's like, yes, they want to bring them in quickly. They want to make sure, like, you know, this is ready for you. Like, this is the time for you to have this relationship, I feel. But your guides just want to make sure that you are going to do this right before they bring this in because they don't want this to get sabotaged. You know, they want to make sure you do it right. Because you guys might have to be friends first. This might be the kind of person that's going to want a friendship first. Which isn't a bad thing. It doesn't mean that they're friend zoning you or anything like that. They might just, they want to really know you before they commit to you. Like, I feel like this person has decided that they do want to get to know you. Like, they've they've made that decision. But they also logically know that they don't know you well enough to commit to a relationship or to dive right into romance just yet. Even if they're feeling it. Like, they're feeling their romantic emotions for sure is what I'm getting. But they're not logically they're not ready to dive into that because they're still questioning it because it's coming up for them so quickly so they're they're wanting to really know you better first on a friendship level and they want to make sure that this is you know there's compatibility long term and that this is actually stable and healthy before they they commit to anything you know solid but I do feel them open to you like they are wanting to get to know you but it's it's more like you know go out for coffee as friends don't don't kiss them yet or anything like that just go, unless, unless they kiss you if they kiss you go ahead and kiss them back but 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 yeah go out for coffee as friends just you know just talk to them about you know what are your hobbies what are your, what do you what do you like to do for fun you know just just those kind of conversations they this person really likes to build up to things they really like a and it's good. It's it's kind of like Knight of Pentacles energy where it's like a slow moving knight. But when they do come in, they're loyal and stable and grounded. And it's it's more long term because it's something that they thought out. It's not something that they just impulsively rushed into. And then down the road, they realize that it's not right for them. It's like, no, this is more slow moving, but it's more sturdy at the same time. So... And if you if you want a private reading, that's you know, if you if you want me to look more in depth into your situation, that's the best way to get you know the clearest details. If you want me to look into who this person is or you know the relationship, how they feel about you, whatever you want to know, just send me an email. My email is in the description box below. Yeah, because they hesitate because maybe they've they've been in some toxic connections, so they kind of hesitate in there. They're just cautious, you know? It's not, yeah. Because they don't want to commit to the wrong person, so they kind of like to take things slow and kind of feel it out. They kind of like to, to take their time. Anything else really quick? There could be a karmic that kind of messed with them, and they might need to end that. They might still be getting out of something. But... I feel like the romance and the passion will come in time. It's just, it's kind of, there might be a karmic that kind of mess with them a bit, I think. Yeah, I feel like the passion and romance is going to come in time. It's just going to be something that's going to take them a while to build up that trust. You know? Because they might have had some unhealthy relationships in the past. But that happiness is there. That warmth, that light, that connection is there. They're just wondering about this light because they feel this light and they're like, what is this though? Like, I'm not used to this. I'm not used to having dreams about someone. I'm not used to feeling this close to someone I barely know. Like, what is this? This isn't, this isn't logical. Like, <laughs> like they're, they're kind of questioning it, but it's, it's, they feel good about it though. You know, like they, they want to explore it, but they want to explore it slowly and safely. Yeah. Cause they've probably been through a lot in the past with people. They might've thought that the karmic the karmic mind has manipulated manipulated them and deceived them into thinking that they were a certain way and like playing innocent, playing sweet. And the, the your person might have felt like the karmic was their potential life partner. And then down the road, maybe your person is a romantic deep down and they move too quickly with the karmic like recently or in the past or could be still getting out of this. And it just moves so quickly that they they jumped into it and then down the road the karmic ended up being kind of crazy and then it was you know just chaos and, and mess and it just messed them up you know what I mean because it's like they thought that was their person and they they did a you know complete turnaround on them and ended up not being what they thought they were 
So now your person is more cautious in relationships. They're like, okay, I learned from this mistake. I learned, I learned a karmic lesson here that, that sometimes I need to balance things out more. So they like to take things slow now and make sure that something's solid. And it might've thrown them off too because they might've met you and felt that kind of, this kind of connection with you. But they're like, why do I feel this about someone I barely know? You know, so they're kind of, especially if they felt it with the karmic before, they're kind of questioning it. Like, okay, I gotta make sure this is the real deal this time. I gotta take it slow. I gotta be friends first. Like I want to, they want to, de they want the relationship to develop naturally. They want, they don't want to be pushed into it. They want it to really develop naturally. No control issues, no smothering, just, just very like friends, just very relaxed, very natural progression. They might want to travel with you too. They might want that, you know, vacation energy, adventure, honeymoon. I think you guys will, I think it will get more romantic as time goes on, but they want the romance to develop naturally. They just, they don't want to rush it, you know? But anyway, if that makes sense, and if it resonates, uh, my email is below if you'd like a private reading. Any donations are appreciated, even just a dollar. It really adds up quickly. And please subscribe if it resonates. Thank you.